Hey everybody, welcome back to Minion War. So, we're down by over 800 points, and we only have 10 flags more, so it's not looking good, but you never know. So, we'll give this our best shot to try and get as many points as we can here. So, I've checked out all of their defensive teams. And this team here is worth most points, 75. And they have two of these tunes. Obicon, who I faced Obicon before the tune version. And he can be a pain because basically you can't get rid of the counterattack. You have to... You have to create a team and plan on that team not being able to get rid of counterattack because it has a 75% chance to resist the dispel. And so we are going to do that. And then you have Vivica here who also, you know, resists uh, ailments, mana reduction, and buff dispel. So ailments are not going to be the way to take this team out. What we are going to do here, so they also have Myoini, and they have LaSalle, who gives Fiends, and then Brimstone over here. Brimstone, we can't take a shot from Brimstone. That will kill my whole team. And so what we need to do is figure out how to handle all of this. And I am thinking I'm going to take a bypass team so that I don't have to worry about the counterattack. And I need that team to be able to deal enough damage to get through two healers. So this is the team that I'm looking at here. We are going to have two healers that can overheal so that we can try and take a shot from Brimstone if we have to. And they can get rid of LaSalle's Fiends. I am going to have Athos in here who can uh, bypass. And I am going to put Sobek in here who can bypass. And then Zamara. So if Athos hits... I mean, Athos is going to have to charge before Zamara. So... I'll use Athos to hit Obicon so that the amount of damage that I deal to Obicon will be reduced to the number of hit points that he has left. But I, most likely Zamara will take some damage, but I want her because of Myoini. So if I can, if I can punish the other three with that damage from the mana buff then i think that will work out well well this looks like a decent board to start for sure so how do we take advantage of this um we have two we have a match with the green two matches with green here that i don't want to lose if i take that Take the uh, the dragon bomb here. Um, okay, so that'll make the blue, and it'll move this up. So I'll still get two. I should get one extra out of that. I would like to be able to make three matches here to get Samara going. I don't see three matches. I did this. I could do this. And keep two together down here, which would be nice. Start with this. All right, if I do this. 
going to bring the blue back up. And that uses this one. If I do this match to get the blue, still got nobody charged, but I don't have anything left after that. So let's take this. I'm going to hold on him for a second and see what comes up after I make this match here. Holy crap. I am going to hit him here. I'm going to take this. And take this. All right, I need to heal. Take the blue. Oh, I need to. Man, I'm just setting him off too many times here. I need that. Let's take this and then Let's Hail Mary this and see if I can do enough damage to kill the tank here. Did. That's good. On my second attack here, I'm going to go after Big Ocean. So let's take a look. They've got Farah, and I have a team that I put together to try and counter Farah that I think should work decently well. So they, with Farah, Calervo, and Tinsel, they've got a lot of damage here, and then they've got ailments on the sides. So what I need to do is set up a team that can protect against those ailments. So the trick to going against Farah is to take dark heroes because that ensures that Zenga won't give you a single dark tile on the board. Here's how we're going to do this with this team here. So this incentivizes me to get rid of the dark tiles. Okay, so this team incentivizes me to get rid of the dark tiles. And I have Oniwakamaru who can try to absorb shots from from these guys up front. Aramis can give protection against the ailments. Dead Boot can try and get rid of... Now he's in a different color, but he can dispel or steal this protection here to allow Quentin to hit. So let's try...
Okay. How are we going to do this? Let's see. Uh, I, I can make a, a diamond. Or I can go for individual matches. So if I go for individual matches, let's say I take this, fire into Archie, this. I just don't like how the individual matches make everything end up. I want to start with a blue. Now we'll do this. And then this. Oh, that set her off. That's was a lot more than I was hoping for. Okay, well, I can at least use him. Take those. Okay, do this here. That will help to heal up. And now that I have protection, I can let tinsel fire. Okay. Um, I am going to go ahead and see if I can't get rid of Hathor here. Not quite. I need to get rid of her buffs. See if I can get Oniwakamaru charged again. Oni has left the building. So. Okay, with Tinsel gone, uh, now I just need to try to make some matches and write out some slash attacks. Let's see, who do I need to get rid of? Probably need to get rid of Archie. Let's hit Calervo first. Mm, all right. We at least didn't get the mindless attack. We're working through this. We got this.
Next, I'm going to try Deacons here. So let's take a look at their team. With Myoini at tank, that's a passive tank, which gives me some time to be able to get some matches. So here's the main weakness with the way they put this together. It's a ton of damage, and they're all double limit broken. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a combo. Actually, let's go in and make the team so I can talk through it with the team out there. This combo right here is the protection from that team. We got red stacked against Myoini. Now, four C's gives us taunt so that we direct all of the direct damage towards four C's. And then the Lhasa gives ailment protection. So hopefully we can negate all of the ailment damage from all of these heroes and focus the direct damage towards forces and give us enough time to make red matches up the middle, which should hopefully kill Myoini eventually and, and then give us a ghosting lane until we can fire off our um, combination here of Brimstone and then Hypnos and then Sparklight. There's no counterattack. There's nothing, I don't think. There's defense up from Myoini, but we'll see how it goes. I might need to fire Hypnos first. But this is the strategy that I want to use, and let's see if I can make this work. All right, could make this blue match and then make the red match, which will focus the tiles. I could do this way, but that would fling this up, which I don't want to do. <laughs> Let's see, I don't want to do that, but might not be a bad move. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Gives me a blue match to start working on Thalassa. All right, I can do this. Start with four C's there. Now we'll take another red match and see if we can get something going up the middle. I will take this just to get four C's ready. Now, here we go. We were able to get red matches, so. Uh, let's get rid of the defense down, the counterattack, all this stuff. There's just too many buffs out here for my liking. Although, how much buff, how buffed is that? 40% defense? Yeah, defense is an effective buff. I'm just going to go ahead and fire and get rid of all of their buffs first. Then we'll go with Brimstone. And who's more dangerous here? Let's go ahead and fire four C's. I... So instead of looking at who's more dangerous, what I need to be looking at is where do I need to ghost tiles? And that's going to be on this side. I have blues, purples, and reds all on this side. So let's do this. And now we'll begin to make matches over here. And the blue is going to be more important than the red at this point. 
So with them getting ready to fire, I would like ailment protection. And while I have ailment protection and taunt, one turn left, I'm going to set him off. Nice. See, it doesn't even affect the, da the direct damage doesn't do much of anything there. And with the ailment protection, we are, we are solid here. All right, let's see here. What should we do? Let's take the blue match. The defense is really it, is what's key. As long as I keep my defense up, I can just take the reds when I get them. And now there's nothing to get rid of, so they're going to feel the full force of brimstone. And then spark light. That was fun. I like Chang U is a good counter, except that she's at average speed. So nobody can cast any ailments or buffs. Cannot cast any new status effects on enemies or allies for four turns. But I have to. This the Aramis can block that, and so I need to be able to get rid of Aramis. <clears throat> so the protection comes from all the dancing here, and while they overwrite each other, I like that with Guardian Gazelle here, she'll make everyone dance except herself. But when I fire Odette, Odette will continue to dance with Gazelle's dance and then put her dance on everyone else. So I get the whole team dancing. So other than that, this is just a high damage team that gets really shut down by Chang. So let's just see if this works. Okay, I could do this green to set up a blue and bring this holy up one. It's not terrible, but not necessary to do that first. Of course, I can do the recommended match, which would give me a dragon bomb here and put a yellow here and here. So if I hit the dragon bomb, that would give me two holy and five total of the um, ice. It's not great. It would still it would really depend on what else comes in. I don't have a lot of other options. I could do this, which would send three for no reason, basically. Mm. Or I could pull this down and then make a yellow match. You know, that might be better. I like that better. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, let's just set Aramis off right away. How about that? Let's do this. Okay. Do this for the chance at a, at a uh, diamond. We got it. Look at that. 
now we're just going nuts here. Hey, boom, boom. Can we survive this? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I would rather go offensive right now. And so I'm going to, whether I want to go offensive or defensive depends which one of these I fire first. So I am going to heal, dance, put the dance on Odette, and then I'm going to switch their dancing to from a defensive to an offensive dance. And how much time do they have left? They have two turns left on that. So can I bide myself a couple of turns without setting them off? I think I can. Let's do this. And this. All right, that is gone. So we will now do this and this. Put the ailment on and cleanse it off. Did evade. It's all right, because now we fire Chang. Who's going to hit them again. And... Um, let's go this route here. Okay. Let's fire you and you. She's already full, so let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. <laughs> I love this team. I've been raiding with this team for a while. And Next, I'm thinking I would like to attack this team, but in order to attack this team, I need to put in one of my Lunar New Year heroes, and that takes up a slot from a team that I want to use. So, while well, I could definitely put together a team that would do really well against this team. There's a team that I want to use. So I'm thinking of taking this team here. This is the team that I want to use with Hathor for ailment protection, Black Knight for direct damage protection, then Fortuna for Dispel, Starwalker to put her ailment on everybody, and Tinsel to wipe that ailment off. So if Ludwig goes off, then I can Dispel so that I can still hit the whole team. And then take out probably this side even though him going off is, is problematic. Hopefully Black Knight can absorb that. Yeah, let's try this. This is another team I've been raiding with that I really like, so I want to try and see if it works in war. The only thing that would really mess this up is um, Liu Bei. His undispellable counterattack would negate, uh, you know, Fortuna here, but I would still need a dispel because of they had Ludwig as well. So let's concentrate on what we're doing here. Uh, how can we make a diamond? Got a lot of red. This would be two red matches right here, but that would throw a lot into Ludwig, but then we would get another red match, which would set us up with reds, but reds isn't what we need to win. What I need to win are blue. Tempted to put this here and see if I get a diamond. 
do this, just shoot stuff up there. All right, let's try this. Man, we got a lot of reds. Okay. All right, let's try this. Any crazy cascades? No, we do get the diamond. Okay, that worked. Take the heal. Let's set you up. And I'm tempted to hit the diamond. It doesn't directly give any ice, but it might set us up well. Let's try it. There we go. It did work. Look at that. All right, let's end this. Now we'll hit here with tinsel. I am um, recharge. That was a particularly lovely board. All right. She shuts down Lupe. This gives me a, the ability to steal mana and buffs. Or should I just put in Ojima here? But then I don't have a dispeller. No, it's all right. I like this. Let's try this. I should just take my anti minion team instead of putting together a, a haphazard team here. So, this is my anti minion team. Let's see. Go there. That's good. Yeah, the problem with this team is that I can't dispel. All right, so we'll go, let's give him the 29. You the twenty five and let's let's just do this. Okay, I want to avoid throwing a bunch of tiles right up the center. So I think the best way to start this out is going to be ooh okay with. With seven red tiles, I can do this and this and this and hit him with all the magma, magma cubes. <laughs> nice. Oh, that alpha taunt. Sometimes it saves you, sometimes it kills you. All right, I'd love to ghost these holies. But then I don't have anything else set up. Whereas if I do this and this, then I end up with the same outcome, but less yellows on the board. Let's do this. And we'll do this. Oh, 
Let's see. I don't want to set Cupido off. Oh, that's too bad. I do this. That's four tiles that goes into Cupido, which is what will charge him. So I need to do three tiles into Cupido at the most, which would be this. Let's do this. Oh, well, we'll just do that anyways. The second round of tiles that hits gives less damage, gives less mana. So that's why it uh, didn't set him off right away. So let's go ahead and do this and this. We'll utilize their minions against them. We've got reflect. So now I'm just toying with them. Let's go ahead and who's the most problematic here? Actually, he is. I will hit him. I'll take Cupido's damage and let and let the ailment reflect. Now we'll do this. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. And I will do this first, which I should have hit her first, but that's okay. It doesn't even matter. Do that. This. That should be the end of this. And we'll let Gestalt finish this off. All right, well, I need to figure out a counter for, for Toon Obicon because that's the second time that I fought him in war and it's the second time I've lost. So I need, I need to figure out a counter for him. But I will keep working on that. And hopefully you enjoyed the new teams that I've put together here. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I hope you had good luck in your war and I will see you in the next one.